What is printmaking? Printmaking is an art process where you transfer an image from a surface onto paper. When you do printmaking, you are like a human copy machine and can make multiple prints that look the same or similar to each other. In this video, we will focus on styrofoam printing. The printing process we will use is called styrofoam printing. This process is related to a printmaking technique we've already done this year. It's related to linoleum block printing. This year, when you printed with linoleum blocks, the blocks were pre-carved because they require the use of sharp tools. You can look forward to carving your own linoleum block in middle school. We'll be creating our design on styrofoam because it is safer to carve using just a red and a black pen. A square printing plate allows the print to be repeated and rotated. As you're planning your final design, be mindful that any areas that you carve out with the two colors of pen are going to print in reverse. This means the areas here that I have colored with red and then black pen and these interesting line patterns are all going to print as negative space or white on my paper. The areas of the styrofoam that are untouched by the pen will print as the ink color. In this case, they will print as black. So your design will be reversed. If that sounded confusing to you, you are not alone. Take a closer look at how this print was made. This styrofoam block was originally carved with a red and then a black pen, just like we did here. The styrofoam plate was then coated with ink and printed onto this section of the paper. This print shows up in reverse. So notice the areas that were carved with a black pen, such as the triangle and this swirly line, appear over here as a negative space or white and the color of the paper shines through that opening. This is what we mean by your design will print in reverse. Anything that's been carved with the pen will show up as a negative space on the print and then the white areas untouched by the pen will print as black on your final design. Here is the print of my final design. You can see that the black and white sections are reversed. Day number one, design your printing plate. First, think of your idea. For our first styrofoam plate, you'll want to create a design that is abstract, like one of these two examples. Abstract means the artwork does not look like things you can see in real life. Instead, focus on the use of beautiful lines and shapes. You can even create patterns. You will draw your design directly on the styrofoam using a red pen. Begin by creating outlines, then go back and fill in sections of your artwork using a red pen. Now that I've colored my design with red pen, it's time to trace back over everything with a black pen. I'm switching to black so I can easily see that I have traced over all parts of my design and this will allow me to carve the styrofoam a little bit deeper, which will get me a better quality print. As you trace and color over your design with the two pens, be mindful that you are not pushing so hard that you rip through the backside of your foam. If you're doing your carving correctly, you should hear a faint snap, crackle, pop sound as the styrofoam gets smushed down by the pen. You may see some ink fingerprints appear on your styrofoam. This is not a big deal. They will not appear in your final print. Day number two, print your plate. To print your styrofoam plate, you will need your finished design, one piece of paper, you may choose the color, a tray with ink provided by the teacher, one brayer for rolling in the ink, 
Remember, artists call a roller a brayer, and one brayer that will stay clean, you'll be using this to rub the back side of your plate. Write your name and class code on the back side of your paper using a pencil. Roll your brayer through the ink, listening for that sticky sound. We sometimes describe it as sounding like sizzling bacon. Then roll your ink across your styrofoam plate. Set your brayer down back in the ink tray and position your styrofoam plate in a corner of your square piece of paper. Then take your clean roller across the back of your styrofoam plate, roll slowly so it doesn't wiggle. This will transfer your design and then peel up your styrofoam plate. You will need to ink your plate again and print it a total of three more times. Carry this artwork to the drying rack, then return for your printing plate. Wash your printing plate at the sink using water only and pat dry with a paper towel. Store your printing plate in your table basket. You could choose to print your design again in the future, possibly using a different color ink or different paper to get different results. Thanks for watching. I can't wait to see what you create.